is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I am back with my secret, not secret kit using uh, the beautiful Practically Perfect. And I showed you the picture I'm using, and it is a picture of the wind thing, wind vane on the top of the little bakery in Disneyland, the little yellow one when you walk in. And that one is themed after Mary Poppins. So this weather vane we learned from one of the artists that when they put it up in her little carpet bag, they actually put a coin of the year that Disneyland opened. So it was super fun little fact so that when we went to Disneyland, the kids were so excited to see the weather vane, which is, you know, not what normal kids would be super excited about, but they were super excited. So I had to take a picture. Mm -hmm. Not the best picture because obviously that's pretty high up there and I just had my phone. So that's what I zoomed in on. So that's what I am going to document about in this particular layout. And I love this background paper because it is weather vanes. So super perfect. And I'm just using a doily that I got in my kit along with the pieces of six by six paper that I had left. And I felt like it was still getting a little lost, even with those papers behind it all kind of seemed to be blending in. So here I took the other 12 by 12 piece of paper that has the butterflies on one side, but I'm going to use this beautiful pink. And I'm just going to use a strip of it to kind of ground that big photo cluster that I'm putting in the center of my layout. And I'm realizing it's a little big and a little overpowering, so I am going to trim it down. And I am curious about adding, I like that book paper, but I'm not so sure that it really makes sense. And so the other side is a red polka dot. And there's really nothing red in this with the exception of one of the macaroons on the tag. So I didn't really want to bring the red in. But the little song sheet paper, I do like that. And here I'm trying to decide what I am going to mat the back of my photo with. I had that little piece of tissue paper left from the last layout, but it's actually a little bit too small. And I love this song paper. It's so cute, and I wanted it on the top and bottom, but I knew that I didn't want to waste the entire piece of paper, so I just cut a small little bit off, which worked out really good because it had the little hole in it, and I was still able to use that. So here I am just cutting down that pink piece of paper and kind of resituating everything Oh, and it is morning time, and my family was hanging out watching TV, so I got to escape and drink my tea and do a little crafting. So here's where I have to go find the other piece of tissue paper that I have, and I'm just going to do one tiny border of tissue paper around this photo, and it's just enough to separate it from the background. It definitely softens it up, but also makes it stand out, which is kind of funny, but in my head that, that makes sense. Now, there is one little piece of ephemera that's like a, like a map, and so I'm gonna put that on as well. Now, I love tissue paper, if you watch my channel, Thanks for sticking with me, but I love tissue paper. And I was like, you know what? I think I need 
some more tissue paper on this layout. That one little piece was not going to cut it. So I decided I was going to just cut a strip and I think it's maybe an inch and a half, two inches. And I ran a piece of tape runner down the middle of the page, not from edge to edge, but just more in the middle. And I'm just kind of ruffling it up on that tissue paper or on that uh, line of glue. So it was not quite enough. So I have to cut another piece. And you will notice that I didn't measure and this piece is actually smaller, um, but I don't really care. I think that it works fine. It's kind of that homemade. Here I'm just adding a little extra glue because I decided I wanted it to go a little further because they really want it to go the entire length of the pink paper. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to add that right on top. I do have to smush it down a little bit, but I will add foam to the back so that it's one even area. So I'm pretty much liking how this is looking. And so it's just time to adhere everything down. And a lot of the times I will cut this out for you. I feel like um, everybody knows how to use glue. <laughs> um, whether it is a glue gun or a glue stick like my daughter scrapbooks with which I love. I love that she, she scrapbooks and she scrapbooks with a glue stick. And, you know, amazingly enough, that works fine too. So whatever it is that you use, like, I don't think there's probably one that's the best, but, um, I haven't really noticed. I use the little Elmer's and it works just fine, and I do have to admit that probably the reason that I use it is because I can buy it at Walmart, and my best friend and I, we like to scrapbook till, you know, three in the morning, and if I run out of glue, I could actually run to Walmart and get more glue, and we could continue to scrapbook, so that's <laughs> probably my crazy reason for using it. So here I am just attaching a large piece of foam to that upper part, so it's all kind of on one level and you can see <laughs> sometimes the glue works sometimes it doesn't it's all good I do notice that when the glue's kind of getting to the end that it doesn't want to roll as much I have to give it a little extra help there <laughs> so that piece of ephemera right there is just that little piece of map which I thought well that's super fun because were, I'm not going to put the Disney map in, not that I haven't scrapbooked Disney maps like a million times, but it just adds a little extra. So this I Just paper came with, it's from Chamel, and it came with that cute little roller date stamp, and that's what I'm going to use for my journaling. Now, this like roses they're like fabric roses and they were from Hobby Lobby when they were having their huge sale and it was taking me way too long to get them off the backing so I had to turn off my camera and figure out how to actually get these things off so I end up deciding on just the two white ones and the red one and they're just going to be clustered down in the corner I'm going to add a little bit of twine. I'm going to twirl it and add a little staple to kind of keep it in place, which, of course, I've glued everything down so my stapler doesn't fit underneath. <laughs> so I have to kind of rip it up and get it stapled down, but it works. So these were self-adhesive. So I just took the little backs off, slapped them down. So it's funny how I said I didn't want to add any red and I totally grabbed this red flower and covered up the red macaroon with the white flower. But anyway, so I am going to use the title of carpet bag and I will write my journaling on 
and I might do that after I take pictures. So nope, I did it before. So here are those close-ups. So I hope you enjoyed this layout. And if you're interested in the Secret Not Secret Club, check out the link below. And remember to wear your crown. We'll see you next time. Bye!